Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Spintech Motors 1304 5200 kV motor. In this video I'm going to test it on my Moto Trust stand and soon I'm going to feature it in a build video. This motor is available in 3 kV options. You can get an 8600 kV version which is compatible with 2 S type of batteries, a 6500 kV version which is compatible with 3 S type of batteries and the version that I've got is the 5200 kV version which is compatible with 4 S type of batteries. Considering its size, this is an extremely light motor. It weighs only 8.32 grams, so it is just a little bit heavier than this 1106 motor from Spintech Motors, which weighs 7.82 grams. The height of the motor is about 12 millimeters. It is using 24 AWG silicon wires with a length of about 80 millimeters. And its most unique feature is that on its bottom it uses both 9 and 12 millimeters holes which makes it compatible with every frame that supports 11OX motors. The next thing I'm going to do is to test this motor on my thrust stand using 2.5 and 3 inch propellers and I will see you in a bit in order to go over the results. So as you could see, the Moto didn't survive the last test on a 4S type of battery. I don't think it's because it's not compatible with 4S, I just think that the test was a little bit too much for this motor and eventually it gave up. So if you're going to use it on the build, it will probably be safe to use it with a 4S type of battery. Now let's have a look at the results. First of all, you can see that when using 2.5 inch propellers on 2S type of batteries, the maximum measured thrust was around 145 grams. And you can see that the Gemfan 2540 propeller was more efficient than the King Kong 2535 propeller. On 3S type of batteries, you can see that the measured thrust on the King Kong 2535 propeller was 256 grams, and on the Gemfan 2540 propeller, it was close to 300 grams. And also in this test, the Gemfan 2540 was more efficient. Now let's take a look on the 3 inch propellers. You can see that the maximum thrust using 2S type of batteries was around 180 grams and on 3S type of batteries it was around 300 grams and here the Gemfin 3025 propeller was more efficient than the Gemfin 3035 propeller and it was kind of surprising, at least for me, that the thrust of the biprop was actually higher than the thrust of the triprop and also that it was more efficient. Now let's take a look at the last result where the motor burned. You can see that at 70% throttle, the measured thrust was 294 grams, which is pretty impressive. So if the motor would survive the test, the measured thrust on 100% throttle would be close to around 450 grams, which is pretty outstanding for a motor that weighs around 8 grams. So overall, if you want to build a powerful 2.5 or a 3-inch quadcopter or you want to upgrade your existing 11OX or 12OX motors, I think that this motor is a very good option and I'm looking forward to testing it out. I have two candidates that might be good for an upgrade, my Gepper C 2.5 and 3-inch quadcopters, but actually I want to feature it in a build video and I'm going to make it interesting and use it on a 2-inch build, so stay tuned. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this motor, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.